I am S. Ravikumar, research scholar, Krishna University, Machri Patna. Under the guidance of Professor K. Chandrasekhar Yagaru, GTH, Hyderabad. Literature survey, research group publications related to cybercrime case study. Today's topic is impact of the RT Act within a public authority organization towards employee, employer engagement, a case study. Abstract of this paper is empirical report on the RTA case studies enrich employee engagement in organization by adopting the spirit of RTA Act 2005. Introduction of this paper is RTA Act 2005. Most powerful tool for using in good governance. 12th October 2005 and mandate timely response to citizen requests for government information. RT Act and FIR related to cybercrime in an organization between employer and employee. A complaint to a university VC and an SHO of a PS with respect to a complaint that brought to light the case of an undesirable organized group called Jane2H Jog, which abused that academic institution violative of prevention of abuse of State Emblem of India Act 2005 and sedition law. Neither the university authorities nor the police took an any rem remedial institutes despite the representation. As a result, the academic environment was vitiated. Figure 1.1 and 1.2 discussed about this particular information. Towards the remedy, as I mentioned in figure two, the information submitted RTA application to the ACP, Kukat Pali Division, Cyberabad Commissionerate. Here in figure 1.1, page one of the complaint to the VC, JNTH and SHO, KPHB PS in the third week, February 1st. And here figure 1.2, page two of the complaint to the VC, JNTH and SHO, KPHB PS in the third week, February 13th. In figure two, on TA application to the ACP, Kukat Parli Division, Madapur Zone, Cyberwall Commissionerate. SCP directed to the RTA letter to the inspector of police who responded that no case was registered in this regard. As the issue was pursued, finally an FIR was registered against the unregistered organized group, J2H Jag, in as available in figure three. In another approach was adopted to record the issue to make the stand effective by presenting a research paper and to elicit, to elicit expert opinion in the matter. The university authorities were reluctant to respond with respect to the matter later in letter number 436 bar K2 bar CYB slash 2014 dated 1811-2014. The inspector of police communicated about a person who was arrested with respect to the case and released after the culprit furnished sureties. The police department communication does not well upon the sedition law violation at all. Figure 3, FIR 53-2014 in KPHPPS, Kukat Pali Division, Madapur Zone, Cyberabad Commissionerate. In figure four, the RT applicant author pursues with the university with respect to the relationship between the fake government of Telangana versus JNTH and Junin government of Telangana that is prevailing on the basis of parliament enacted law. The registrar, the registrar responds that the information asked by the author, RTA applicant is not clear. An appeal by the author applicant, the rector asks the PIO 
to furnish information within three days, but in a vein. An earlier issue of experience deserves mention here with respect to the complaint number 4778-SIC-LTK-2013, Lam Tontia Kumari, the State Information Commissioner, AP Information Commission, ruled in the decision notice that Section 20 of 2 of the OTA Act will entitle recommendation of disciplinary action against the PIO to the higher authorities and that show cause notice would be served to the PIO as to why a penalty should not be imposed to, on him under Section 20 or 1 of the OTA Act and personal appearance to the VC JNTU to give a detailed explanation in, in the case of for not furnishing the information within the stipulated time for 30 days. Despite the same, the university authority lapses later on to. Here in figure four, the RT application of the author to elicit arrested information with respect to the JNTU's relationships with the fake government of Telangana, which is with the parliament enacted government of Telangana. Figure five refers the case study of motivating us to come up within an innovative forum, the PGF, the People Governance Forum. A web page address is https colon slash slash sites.google.com slash site slash shakaraya k slash a people's hyphen governance forum web page. It aims to disseminate national information by inculcate in the educated youth national spirit and abroad and broad disclosure and basic awareness of cyber crimes to understand positively for a good society. Here it is a in figure five, a people governance forum web, website. Conclusion of this paper and future work is OTI 2005 is a priceless effective instrument for an employee to remedy the lack of probity in the organizational administration by engaging the employer to ensure positive organizational behavior. Here, the OT Act and FIR related to an organization between employer and employee together for better result of common goal. A common goal of ICT is to develop a knowledge society, Vignan Bharat, that is progressive and free from cyber crimes and is well established in terms of cyber laws, cyber ethics, smart cities, and digital India, etc. In India, population is high and cyber crimes are increasing, increasingly reported day, day to day. Some cyber crimes have a very massive base. It is a challenging to the governance and academics for the nation building, whereas nation building is a continuous exercise. Thank you.